Beneath the earth, where human footsteps echo and sunlight never reaches, there is a hidden and vibrant universe built in silence. It is an invisible empire woven with precision by countless anonymous workers. Down there, in the darkness, order reigns. And at the center of it all, a singular, almost mystical force pulses, the future queen. But what transforms a simple insect into a queen? How is the heart of an underground civilization born? It all begins with chance or with a plan that only nature understands. Among the thousands of eggs laid by an ancient queen, some carry a different destiny. There are no visible crowns, no sacred rituals. What exists is care, constant nourishment, special attention that seems to prepare these chosen few for something greater. While the others become workers or soldiers, these special termites grow in secret. Slowly, they grow wings. They become winged. They are living seeds of new kingdoms. But the flight that awaits them is not a triumph. It is a test. On the appointed night, guided by ancestral instincts, they ascend to the surface. The air vibrates, the earth breathes, and then the nuptial flight begins. Thousands of wings glide through the night in search of a mate. But most will never find their destination. The journey is cruel. Predators hunt, gravity takes its toll, and only the strongest or the luckiest will return to Earth not as victims but as founders. It is at this moment that everything changes. Upon finding a mate, the winged termite loses its wings, not out of weakness, but by choice. It is the sign that its previous life has come to an end. Now its reign begins. Buried under a piece of wood or damp earth, the male and female form a new colony. Small, fragile, silent, but with immense potential. The female begins to change. Her body, once light and agile, transforms. Her abdomen grows alarmingly. She no longer moves. She no longer needs it. The workers born from her first eggs take over the work. They build tunnels. They feed. They defend themselves. The queen becomes a living womb, a monumental organ dedicated to the continuation of the species. Within her, thousands of eggs are formed every day. And although her form becomes grotesque to our human eyes, her function is elevated to the level of the sacred. She rules not with force, but with fertility. She sustains an entire empire with her mere existence. There is no ceremony, there is no throne, but there, in absolute darkness, she is sovereign. This metamorphosis, from wing to queen, is one of the most impressive in nature. A process of sacrifice, surrender, and transformation. And it reminds us of something essential. That true power lies not in appearance, but in function. It lies not in brilliance, but in depth. The termite queen was not born to shine in the light of day. She was born to sustain the invisible. And it is in the invisible that true greatness resides. Because sometimes, in the absolute silence of the earth, nature teaches us what it really means to reign. But the queen's greatness lies not only in her biological function. It lies in what she symbolizes. Permanence, purpose, destiny. In a world increasingly obsessed with speed and visibility, the termite queen reminds us that real power is silent. It is profound. It is patient. She does not move. And yet, everything moves through her. With each egg she releases, the colony grows. Each tunnel dug, each chamber expanded, each worker born, all spring from her. And ironically, the more essential she becomes, the less freedom she has. Her gigantic form, her nearly translucent skin, her prison of flesh. All these are the price of her royalty. A throne built with sacrifice. She is no longer an individual. She has become a collective organ, a living entity that sustains an entire system. And for this reason, she is sacred. Around her, life pulses in continuous cycles. Soldiers watch, workers nourish, 
and time passes unhurriedly. Days follow one another in darkness. Up there, the world changes. Down here, it remains. And perhaps that is the wisdom of this kingdom. The ability to remain firm while everything around it collapses. The queen can live for years, decades even. When she dies, there is no mourning. Only emptiness. A deep silence. Because the colony understands. Without her, the heart stops. And when the heart stops, the entire empire collapses. That is why the colony acts. Quickly. Instinctively. If a new queen is not formed, everything ends. And so, the cycle begins again. A new egg. New special care. A new flight. A new surrender. Because in the end, reigning is not about commanding. It is about sustaining. It is about generating. It is about disappearing into what is built. The termite queen is the purest symbol of a paradox. The more powerful, the less free. The more vital, the less visible. And perhaps, in times when everyone wants to shine, she teaches us the value of simply nurturing.